How to download and import Legos from Megabricks into Blender and Maya. You're going to start by searching the minifigure or set followed by Megabricks. You'll most likely find that somebody has put something together. Click on edit and it will take you to the Megabricks workshop. Go down to search to find blocks you would like to add to your scene. To snap your blocks together, select the point that you would like snapped, go up screen right and select the magnet icon. Then select the point you would like it to snap to. The hotkey for snapping is S. If your snap geometry isn't oriented properly, go to the top bar and select the rotation tool. When you rotate it along the axes, it will snap to the correct place. To change the colors, select the brick then go to Materials in the lower screen right and select a color. If you would like a transparent brick, go to this drop down and press Transparent. To save your model, go to File, Save As, name your model, and save. To export your model's geometry, go to File, Export, Export it as a Blender add-on ZMXB file. Click Export, then find a place to save it. To export the textures of your model, go to File, Export, and make the file type Collada.dae. Then Export, and find a place to save it. To import into Blender, go to Mechabricks.com and click on Shop. Then download Blender Lite. It's free. Download into your PC in your program files. Go to Blender Foundation, the version of Blender that you have, the version of Blender you have again, Scripts, Add-ons. Unzip your Mechabricks Lite file in Add-ons. Go back to your Blender file, right click Blender, and open as administrator. In Blender, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Install, Program Files, Blender Foundation, the version of Blender you have, the version of Blender you have, Scripts, Add-ons, Megabricks Lite, underscore init, underscore dot py. Click Install Add-on. Now you can search the plugin. When you find it, enable this check mark. Now you can delete all the assets in your scene by pressing X on your keyboard and then clicking Delete. Now go to File, Import, Mechabricks.zmbx. Navigate to your ZMBX file and import. Now go to File, Export, FBX, name it, and export. Now you can close out of Blender and open Maya. Now you can go to Windows, Settings slash Preferences, Plugin Manager. Search for FBX and check on Game FBX Exporter in Loaded and Auto Load and XBX Maya in Loaded and Auto Load. Go to File, Import, Navigate to your FBX file and import. Since this is coming from Blender, you'll get this notification. Just hit OK. Go to your perspective camera. and You'll see the geometry is quite big. Open your outliner. Select the locator called empty. The scale is set to 100. Set that to 1. You can use the lasso selection tool to delete any geometry you don't need. In the viewport toolbar, go to show and hide the locator. 
so it doesn't get caught in the selection. To center your minifigure, select it. But if you try to move it, the geometry will go everywhere. So select the translate value in the channel box and move it to the center. Shift select the hips last. Go to the top toolbar and select snap to grid. Now you can snap your character to the center of the scene. Go to File, Save As, find a place to save it, name your file, save it as a Maya ASCII, and save your scene. Please check out my Patreon, or subscribe because it's free just like these videos. Like, share, and comment if this was helpful. Dislike and comment if it didn't work and I'll fix it for you.